right? Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling a little awkward because I haven't done these or one of these in a while. These intro things. Today's video is going to be on this look and it's going to be my everyday face routine and my go-to eye look. And the palette that we're going to be using today, I couldn't find it for a second, is going to be the I Love Study and Colourpop collaboration and it's um, the Shiki palette. And I love this palette. This is my favorite palette and my go-to palette right now. But I don't want to keep the intros long, so because there's a lot of talking in this video, I guess. So we're just gonna get started. What was that? So first, we're gonna start with primer. I use two primers. I use the NYX Angel Veil and No Filter Primer. So we're gonna start with the No Filter Primer and just put it on my nose. Uh, <laughs> like on my under eyes <laughs> my nose what the heck sorry that's ed <laughs> so i just focus it under here because this is to prevent creasing so i put on my under eyes to prevent creasing and then on my nose for my pores because that's where my pores are the largest and then we're gonna take the nyx angel veil primer and put that on my cheeks and my forehead, like so. I'm just gonna take my fingers and massage it into my face. So now we're gonna start on the brows. I'm gonna start by lining it with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I got it in the shade too light because my hair has been fading since I dyed it black and it's kind of like a dark brown and I got the espresso one thinking it's going to be like dark brown but it's like really warm <laughs> but um, I kind of cover it up with my Ebony Brow Pomade the one that I always use I've been having this for like ever so I'm just going to take the pencil and just kind of outline my eyebrows I'm just gonna take my Anastasia angled brow brush and just mm -hmm. blend that out. You do me. What? You do me. To conceal and carve out my eyebrows, I just got this and I used it literally just yesterday. We're gonna use the Anastasia concealer, and I got mine in 2.5. Looks like that. And this concealer is super clean, like, it's a little bit goes like a long way. Uh, and I'm gonna use the Real Techniques concealer brush. Hmm? 
things are a lot different. Society has changed, and you have to just go with the cultural norms. But I do agree with her point of kind of we, we can't really make sex into a criminal act or make it make it this taboo topic. We are adults, you know. But she went from here to here. Yeah, she did. She did that. Yeah, once you have your kids involved, that's a little bit different. And also, once we take it out of this country, and in Europe they find you, we're very sexually liberal, and they still find you crazy. I think there's something wrong with what you're doing. Yeah, because if you talk about some natural shit, I want you to say that to like an Aboriginal tribe, and they're just like, man, that's fucking crazy. And then you're like, <laughs> then I'm gonna take my Morphe. E17 brush and buff out my concealer. But now we're gonna start on the eyes. For my more natural days, I don't like to do too much, so I usually just stick to one color, and that's just to like pop into my crease just to know add a little shade into my eyes and depth now we're just gonna set the eyes and i'm gonna be using this palette i'm not really sure where it's from because it was a gift i'm pretty i feel like i used this like once in my old videos i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and set that concealer I didn't even tell you what concealer I used on my eyes. <laughs> I used the Tarte Shape Tape on my eyes and I'm in the shade light medium. I just like to use that concealer. I like the Shape Tape for everything, but I'm using new concealers trying to see if I like any other concealers because I'm really liking the Shape Tape, but I like... I'm just trying out new things. <laughs> or, you know, I'm actually gonna I'm actually going to do a look today. Okay, so for my eyes, we're going to be using the I Love Settees and Colourpop collection. This one is going to be in Shiki. So it's the, more, the warm tone palette. And if you guys remember, I love my warm tones. Okay, so for the first shade, we're going to go into... Which, we're going to go into Freckles. I think that's it. And it's the matte orange tone. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush just so I can blend that into, not blend into, but above, blend above my crease so that could be our transition shade. The next shade we're gonna go to is Noche, I think. <laughs> and then we're gonna take, I think this is the Morphe G17 crease brush, and we're gonna go into Noche. And just put that in there, but tap off the excess. And then I'm gonna apply it into my crease in circle motion. Little circles. And then we're just gonna go back into that transition shade and help blend this out. This looking a little harsh. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape and my concealer brush that I use for my eyebrows to carve out my half cut crease on the lid. Okay, 
take my fluffy brushes just try to blend that out a little bit. Go back to the G17. Oh, and then. Mm. So now we're gonna put on the pigment onto the eyes, and we're gonna use the metallic shadow that's in the palette. And I'm just gonna take the. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then we're just going to take the small shader brush part from the naked um the naked palette. And then I'm going to take my Fix Plus and spray this brush. And then I'm just going to Tap that over the shadow just because it, it like kind of foils down the shadow because this one, this pigment, metallic pigment is like super, 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 super glittery and it's chunky too so I just need it to stick to my lid. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this small fluffy shader brush and go into the dark brown again um, we're just gonna blend those two together and i'm gonna do this eye really quick and i'll be back with the liner and then the lashes and then the rest of the face <laughs> i'll be right back time for the face <laughs> We applied primer so long ago, though so the, re the current foundation that I've been loving and literally been using every day and now I have to buy another one is actually the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro Matte, yes, Pro Matte Foundation and it's in 106. I think it's a little too tan for me but I think my concealer kind of cancels that out, and my bronzer. And the concealer that I've been using for my highlighting areas, like my nose, forehead, and my under eyes, is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this one I'm about to just open just because I've been actually using a sample of this concealer. And I've been keeping this one in the packaging, seeing how it works out with the sample. And if I liked it, I was going to keep it, but if I didn't, I was going to return it. But I did end up liking it, so I kept it. Obviously, and I'm just gonna put it on a little plate, or it's not a little plate, it's actually a coaster. A shader brush, a little larger shader brush. Now we're going to set the under eyes and I'm just going to take this Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. I'm not really sure what brush this is. And then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 130 Buff Beige. Then I'm going to use the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And I'm going to use the Luxie 514 Blush Brush. Okay, 
and then for highlighter, we're gonna use the Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild, um, Mega Glow highlighting powder, and this one is in Precious Petals, 321B. Contour my nose, but for my nose, I'm actually going to use the contour kit just because I feel like the bronzer is going to be too orange for my nose, and I don't want to be too orange. So I'm going to take the shade and light palette this alongside the nose. <laughs> And for lips, obviously for lips it always changes. Either I wear no lipstick or I wear just a lip gloss. Or I switch it up between, um, I would say my, well my go-to lipsticks are the Bone Arrow and Lolita by Kat Von D. And one outside of that is kind of a dupe for Bone Arrow. It's Sandstorm by the NYX and it's NYX. One of the NYX liquid suede, so this would I would say would be a good dupe for bow and arrow. And that is it for this video for my everyday face routine and my go-to eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please do subscribe. And I want to apologize one more time for not uploading for a while. And I will be uploading more. This time I mean it. And this time I promise. So I will see you guys soon. Bye. I feel like... I don't really do a lot of looks, but um, when I try to, they're just in different colors, so yeah. That's not a good one. Honey. I gotta redo this. You gotta be quiet, honey. Palette in. <coughs> oh my god. <sighs> Bless you. Oh, no, you <sighs> what was I saying? Shush. Stop it. Shush. Please, honey. I'm trying to film.